Hello everyone and welcome back to 3G Video. Today we are talking camper van, aka camper wagon, called Benny. Today you're getting the full deep dive into Benny that you didn't ask for, but that you of course need to have in your life. We're gonna go over all the things that make him tick and how I can stay out on the road in him for months at a time as I'm traveling between different events to do photography for automotive events such as Grid Life and Dragon Drive. So first off is our exterior. Now this is a 1984 Volvo 245, which means it is a 240 wagon. It has a 2.3 liter turbo engine. Of course, we'll show you the goods. This is the beautiful power plant. Uh, it has a little baby turbo down there that is not doing very well and it makes, uh, makes a lot of smoke out of the tailpipe currently. Engine has like 400,000 miles on it. I did wiring on it, which is not beautiful by any means, but it works and it has got me across the country many a times and we're going to just pray and believe that it will do the same for a long time to go okay moving on on our exterior as you notice we have window tent we have five percent tent in the back 15 in the front uh that is purely because i sleep in it i don't actually like having really dark window tent it makes it really a pain to drive at night but for camping it is perfect because i can be in the car and nobody even know and i don't have to have blinds and stuff to put up which is really really nice because I can stealth camp anywhere. Uh, not any anywhere, but there's a lot of places that I can just park up in a parking lot or something like that, that I can spend the night, not have to pay, and um, nobody even knows that I'm in the car. So that is one of the very big advantages. Disadvantage to have something like this is there's not a ton of space. It's not really, really roomy, but it's enough and I work with it very, very well. Okay, on to the interior. We're going to start up front where we're in camping mode currently. So when we're in camping mode, we have our shade up here on the top, and then the scooter sits up here in the front seats. Now, I will be changing over here in a little bit from camping to driving so you guys can see what changes take place. We're going to move right on in to the back. This is the living quarters. As you can tell, I have my bed here on this side. I have a foam mattress underneath with a sleeping bag and then two blankets normally i only use the top blanket and then that gives a little bit extra cushion got two pillows there so the bed works out really well and it's a lot easier to see from the back whenever we open the hatch this reveals our microwave generator hooks in to the battery box and the microwave this is a place that i will set right here get my computer out and i'll work if i'm in parking lots or in nice places like we are here in this beautiful park. Uh, I'll just kind of hang out, open the back hatch, have one of the doors up there open, get a nice cross breeze, and it gives me a nice place to work. Right behind the microwave, we have my work stuff. So computer, and then my camera bag, which has both camera bodies and extra lenses and such in there. This is a box with extra batteries. Uh, this is the battery box. This box was specifically designed to be able to hold all of my battery charging stations. So I have my Bible in here. Then we have our internet box that sits right there. Right down in here, we have all of our chargers. So that allows me to plug in one cord, comes in and it powers all of the chargers. So anytime that I have batteries that need charged, they would just get plopped in here. When I have the generator running, we automatically plug that in and it goes very, very well. Then this cable here, then plugs into the scooter which can be reached up there while uh while we're in camping mode or whenever it's in its other position as well one thing i did forget to point out whenever we were looking at the bed in here is i keep my shoes down here and then whenever i get in if i'm getting in from here i'll just take off my shoes and set them right here that way it keeps from tracking sand and such in with us being in such a small place managing that dirt and keeping it away from the bed is very important um because you don't have a lot of room. You don't have a, like a vestibule to go in and set your shoes down or anything. 
So had that little cubby and it keeps all the dirt down underneath and then we can sweep that out periodically. It's kind of a mess right now, I need to, need to sweep. Uh, also keep a trash can right there for when we're cooking, can throw that in. It does have to be emptied very often, but we can stop at any gas station or even at the park has uh, trash cans that we can dump that at pretty periodically. So keeps the trash down and I'll show you how we keep trash bags to if we do end up needing a little bit more here in just a second. So as we move around here, we have the generator and the extra fuel jug. These will get packed away in just a second. I'll show you how they fit in for our driving mode. These are very important. And then even having the extra gas, we use it for the generator. But if something happens where we're getting really low on gas and Benny while we're traveling long distances, I will have uh, some extra fuel to throw in him. Then of course, my trusty step stool, which gets us up into the top. So let's look in the footwell up here first, and then we'll go to the top. So in our footwell, I keep my boots down there and I have, this is from the, the park um, that we were at. So keep just random stuff from driving. Uh, the chair will sit in here uh, and I keep extra trash bags here and by trash bags, extra Walmart or bags from grocery stores. So that whenever I do my shopping, whenever I have my bags, I'll set them down here so that whenever I fill up that trash can, if I am not close to a place to get rid of it and dump it i'll put it into one of those bags and then set it on the uh, footwell there until i get to a place that i can dump my trash so that works out fairly well and then we go up into the mess of uh <laughs> the upstairs here and the upstairs is where we keep my clothes so i have my suitcase down here on the bottom which keeps all of my clean clothes away and then we have my toiletry bag, which this has all of my soaps and stuff and my toothbrush and everything to go in for showers at Planet Fitness. And then I also have my towel, which I set up here to dry. It's not, not beautiful by any means. Then in the front, we have waters because always need to have water on us and food. So we stack all the foods here. Underneath that, we have our... Uh, spoons and forks and such and then we have some of our extra uh, bags as well up here so i'll set that down when we empty our bags up here then they come down here to stay i also in the back where you can't see have spare parts for the car i have jack stands on the other side and then have like cleaning supplies and such also have dirty clothes basket over in the back left uh, for whenever I do get dirty clothes, I'll fill up that bag. Then once I have that bag full or I'm starting to run out of clothes, I will stop by a laundry mat and do that. Normally on my shorter trips, I just pack enough clothes to last me the trip. That way when I get home, I can do my laundry once I get back um, to Indiana and can do that. So that's kind of an overview of how it's in in our camping setup. I'm gonna swap over to driving so we can hit the road today. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit what that's like. So first thing we do when we change over to camping is put these away. Sometimes whenever I'm camping and trying to stay as stealthy as possible, they will not stay outside. So they will actually stay in their place here. Once we open this door right beside the bed, we have a space for the generator and the fuel jug. Um, like I said, we can actually run with those in here and sleep, which I actually do quite often. Uh, that way it keeps everything out. I don't have to worry about uh, being stolen or tampered with or anything like that. So let's throw those in right now. Okay, and then the next thing is to get the cords piled, wound up. Now, these have are really long cords, so if I need to, I can set the generator way far away so that I don't have to listen to it during the night if I have a lot of room and I'm not going to uh, interrupt anybody. Normally, we keep it quite close, so I keep the cords kind of close here. So the closer, um, both of them will just wrap up on top here. That way, um, I can just pull the top part out, and then if I need longer, then I can pull both uh, big spools out. I don't generally need to do that. There we go, and we're almost halfway done with ready to go. We're gonna close that up. Next, we put our stool away, which goes in the front seat right up here. Again, our trash and stuff will go underneath there. And then we have, have to latch up the top. Okay, and then we have to take down our sun visor. This folds up just like so. Ta-da! And then we place it 
right down here in our little cubby here. I'm gonna slide the front in there, fold it in right there. That's where the sun visor stays. And next we have to take the scooter out of here because obviously I can't drive with it sitting there. So we're gonna move the pillows this way a little bit, right like that. And then our scooter's gonna sit right here like that. It uh, fits right in there very nicely and we'll ride. So we can close that all up and we are ready to hit the road. Now, obviously when we're stealth camping and trying to not be noticed, some of those steps will be not taken. So we'll only move the scooter around into the front and then we'll take the shade and put it up over the window. And I still have room to sleep and we can stop. Now, granted, we're not gonna have electricity. We're not gonna have the internet uh, running or anything at that point, but we can give us a nice place to sleep, you know, be undetected for the most part. And we can, you know, camp in a lot of places that you may not be able to camp with a camper or something like that. Well, it's been a brief overview on bidding. I hope you guys learned some stuff about how I camp, maybe gave you ideas for your build. And then if there's something that you guys see that I can improve on in this, let me know. I am very much open to suggestions. Uh, I'm really trying to uh, build this out. It's been a year getting to this point where everything really just works. Uh, so that's been a really fun process of just learning as, as we go, getting things to where it's a lot easier, quicker turnarounds and such. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you guys can follow along with the adventures that we're going on. We're gonna have a whole new series of adventure videos um, with me and Benny in between events as we're going to across the country and we're gonna go see national parks we're gonna go see uh, crazy things train museums ever, like anything you guys can think of as we're traveling and leave me comments of places you want to see me and Benny go it's going to be a wild ride so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit a like on this video if you enjoyed it I really really appreciate everything you guys do as always have a blessed day and I'll talk to you guys next time